There are so many generations of individuals here at IMTS 2016, and one of the easiest ways to bring the next generation into manufacturing is to keep it all in the family. I'm sitting here with Cassie Hoppers, who is the Vice President of Operations for Swiss Precision Machining. So Cassie, tell us a little bit about your company. You nailed it. Not many people can nail that. <laughs> um, we're a Swiss manufacturing house, but we also have some vertical machining centers as well. Uh, we are predominantly medical, but we do a lot of dental and automotive, um, and it's a family business. So it all started with my dad. Really, it started with my grandpa, though, who was an instrument maker. Um, my dad learned a lot from my grandpa, and then here I am learning a lot from my dad. Um, and then my sister is also in the family business, so there's a lot of us all in it together. Wow. Now, how many employees are there total? Around 130 okay. right now. And then yep. how many family members? Oh my gosh, no one's ever asked me that. <laughs> me, my dad, my husband, my mom, my sister. We have a cousin and uncle, so seven. Wow. Yeah, wow. there's seven of us. Well, how did you get started in it? <sighs> Honestly, at, at first I wasn't really thinking about doing it. I wanted to be an orthodontist because I like a nice mm. smile and nice teeth. Um, but then I started seeing what my dad was really doing, and he's making dental parts for orthodontists. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So I decided to work on the shop floor and just see how to run the machines, what it's all about, and I loved it. Really right. loved how it. Come? I, it was just so cool to see that bar turn into something more than just a round piece of metal, which sounds so nerdy, but that's <laughs> really what it is to me. Um, just very cool, very, very cool to just see this chunk turned into this beautiful, I think, piece of art. Okay, well you started on the shop floor. Talk about your progression through the company to it the Vice President of Operations. really important for me to gain respect from people at the business. I didn't want to just come in and be the boss's daughter. Um, so I wanted to start on the shop floor to understand what their struggles were, what their days were, you know, a typical day. Some days your machines run like crap. Sometimes they run beautifully and it's perfect. I just wanted to see how that was. And then I kind of transitioned to quality control and a few of the other things throughout the company. Um, so I kind of have a good idea of what everything is like. And here I am, you know, kind of taking the reins of things. Obviously my dad is still very much in the picture, but um, he's letting me make some more calls that I wasn't able to do a few years ago. So it's fun, exciting things. So truly like starting at the bottom and working your way up to the top. Yeah. How do you think that helps you in your role now? Oh, I think it, it gave me so much respect. I mean, when I go out on the shop floor, they're not just looking at me like, oh, okay, here's Cass again. They actually are, you know, excited to talk to me, let me know what their pains are that day, or, oh my gosh, Cass, look what I did. I, you know, just exciting things. I'm always about um, kind of empowering them, trying to get ideas from them, um, rather than me to say, we're gonna do this because this is what I'm saying. I like to pull it from them. And I think it's just really that whole respect thing. They know how much I love what we're doing. Um, and they see that, so they're excited about what they're doing as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, there are many family-owned businesses in the industry and a lot of mom-and-pop businesses in the industry, so why is it valuable for the entire manufacturing industry to keep it in the family? I think it's all about, I mean, that's a really tough question, but um, I think it's really important because you have that connection of family. You know, you can kind of lean on your family, you can learn from your family, you can be a little harder on your family at times when needed. Um, but, I mean, it, that's a, that was a tough question. I don't know if I'm really answering it we very well. We inspire each other and learn is, from each other yeah. and grow with each other. That's right. And you have a common exactly. goal. Yes, we do. That's a great, great yeah. statement. Yes, absolutely. So yeah. when you come to IMTS, how is that helping you grow your family business? So this year was kind of weird because I've been sick all week, but usually my dad and I come together, but it's kind of been a little mishmashy this year. Um, but it, it was kind of like a, a bonding experience for my dad and myself. You know, this is my fourth year, but every other year before this, I've come with my dad. And it's just kind of cool because we have a lot of similar interests and we say, oh my gosh, did you see this? Oh, can we apply this? 
just kind of a cool thing to just, hey, let's bring this back for the next year and see how this can help us grow, not only as a, as a business, but as a family. And I, when I say family, I mean a family as a company, not yeah. just blood family, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So, you know, just walking around the show floor, what kind of conversations have you been in or what can all of us do to really keep manufacturing moving forward and bringing in the next generation? You know, I think I, what I love the most about seeing IMTS, and like I said, this is like my fourth show, just how bright everything and clean, and, and I love the lime green color that's going on, and I just think it's really cool, and, and I love seeing the field trips with the kids that are here. I think that's so fantastic. Um, I just think it's really important for those younger kids to come and, and see what we're all doing, because... It, it wasn't like this a few years ago. There weren't too many kids around, but now I'm seeing a lot more kids, which is fantastic. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting to so me. So the, all the information that you gain from coming to IMTS, what do you do with it over the next two years? So basically what I challenged my team, I said this year, bring me two new technologies that we're not using. So in two weeks, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna have a big meeting and say, okay, what did you bring to the table? What are we not using that you think that we can bring from IMTS? And we're going to see what ones, you know, are the most valuable ideas for Swiss Precision um, and see how we can implement them. It's kind of a, like I said, an em empowering thing for them to bring ideas to me, not just me bring them to them. Um, that's kind of the way I was looking at it. It's, it's a big show. I can't cover everything. So I, I'm, you know, having my people help me cover, you know, so it'll be kind of a fun thing you know, in the next few months to see what we can bring in. Perfect. Yeah. So if you're looking to bring in new ideas, new innovations, and new technologies, be sure to mark September 10th through the 15th for IMTS 2018. You heard it from Cassie Hoppers, who is the Vice President of Operations for Swiss Precision Machining.